Horses, like humans, can suffer from asthma-like chronic small area diseases, such as COPD, REO and IAD. Premature fatigue, exercise intolerance and poor performance are consequences of these lower area diseases. For sport horses and other equine athletes, the difference between a great performer and a disabled pasture pet can be very fine. During competition, a horse will take up to 150 breaths per minute, with each breath consisting of 12 to 15 litres of air. The horse's lungs will then take over 2,250 litres of air in that one minute. Minor degrees of air inflammation and a small increase in the production of mucus caused by these air disorders quickly take the toll on an equine athlete trying to take 150 breaths in one minute. During breeding, air enters the respiratory passage through the horse's nostrils, nasal passage and larynx. The air then enters the respiratory system, passes through the trachea and splits into the bronchi, bronchioles and finally reaches tiny sacs called the alveoli where the exchange of gases takes place. It is down here, deep in the horse's lungs, where the small air diseases take effect. Obstruction to breeding caused by these small air diseases is due to the inflammation and narrowing of the bronchial tubes. Initially, the bronchial tubes become inflamed and produce a thick mucus, which plugs airways, limiting the amount of oxygen transferred from the lungs into the blood and working muscles. Later, the muscles surrounding these airways tightens and air cannot freely move. This is called bronchospasm. The result of this is a shortness of breath. This inflammation can result in scarring and permanent lung damage, which in turn can cause uneven inflation and deflation of the lungs. Impaired gas exchange and an increased likelihood of lung tearing and bleeding during exercise are also consequences of this inflammation. All these problems associated with small area diseases can be very subtle and difficult to diagnose. Causes of these small area diseases include viruses, bacteria, allergens, irritants, long distance travel and poor management. Medical treatment for these small area diseases can be effectively done by aerosol therapy. Aerosolized drugs such as bronchodilators and corticosteroids can help to relieve air constriction, coughing, mucus reduction and inflammation reduction. The question arises, is a fully functional respiratory system that significant to an apparent healthy equine athlete? The answer is, unfortunately, a resounding yes. A healthy respiratory system and an abundant structure transfer of oxygen from air to blood is imperative to achieve optimal performance. The respiratory system is a weak link that limits the performance of a fit and healthy horses. Therefore, it is crucial to maintain the respiratory system with a proper attention, support and care.